Aloha folks and welcome back to the Desert Oasis Room. We're back with our friend Garrett Richard and we're going to make another cocktail, another one of his excellent drinks. Yeah, uh, this is a riff on the El Presidente, which is okay, kind of right. Cuba's answer to the Manhattan or the Martini. Okay. Um, I'm a huge advocate of stirred boozy cocktails in tiki spaces and um, Whenever I ran my pop-up, we would always have a stirred drink on the menu, and this was one of our more popular ones we did. I love it, I love it. I'm excited because some of these ingredients I'm not familiar with, so the, the is that pronounced burr? Beer? It's, it's weirdly enough pronounced beer. Beer. Which is not confusing at all. Right, because when I asked for the ingredient, and I asked for, do you guys have beer? Yeah, they just point you to the, they the point cooler. Point me to the beer. Yeah, yeah, we have beer here. <laughs> So, all right, so let's make the drink. Yeah, so absolutely. Walk us through this one. If you guys want to follow along and make this drink with us, we're gonna put the recipe down there in the comments. And, um, all right, what do we do first? Yeah, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make two of these, but I'll tell you the ingredients for one. I love it. Yeah, um, so I'm just adding a little bit of salt first. Okay, saline. Saline is one of his signature ingredients. And I believe you said that was a five parts? Uh, four parts four water parts. to one part salt. Yeah, and right. then we're gonna do a little bit of bitters. We're gonna do uh, both Angostura and orange bitters. Oh, I love it. Yeah, so this makes it a little different from the classic Presidente, which usually just has orange bitters. Um, in this case, we're using Regan's for the orange. And then a normal Presidente has grenadine and curacao usually, and I swapped that out for Orjan and curacao. Super okay. classic TV combo, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. And this particular curacao that we're using, this is my favorite curacao. Yeah, I mean, I love, I love like the variety of orange liqueurs that we have available right now. But like for stirred, like old school drinks, like this is just phenomenal. And I love how precise you are with how much you're putting in there. Yeah, if you don't want to be precise, most bar spoons are a half teaspoon. So I'm okay. using a half teaspoon. Okay. They're basically the same size, but. Okay. As we say in the bar world, there's no such thing as a bar spoon measurement. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. One, and then... I'm yeah. just a guy who makes cocktails in my home bar, so I'm not as as uh, versed on the mixology aspect as Garrett here, and so I'm super excited about this thing. These are the best cocktails that we've ever had in this bar, so... <laughs> so we got all our like accents down. We have bitters, we have our little sweeteners. Um, the fun thing about this version, this cocktail, which is called Our Man in Havana, is instead of it being a rum-forward drink, it's actually more vermouth than rum, mm. and in this case, the vermouth is uh, beer, which is a quinquina, which basically is a fortified wine that has quinine and spices in it. So quinine being in tonic water. And it's super refreshing and it's like, it ends up drinking like a really nice like hot weather, yeah. like all booze yeah. cocktails. And um, the beer mm -hmm. has like a lot of juiciness to it. It's really okay. cool. Okay. So it really does need to be specifically beer. Yeah. Um, there are other quinquinas out there, but this one is um, has the right fruit notes for this cocktail, okay. but I mean, hey, experiment. You might find something okay. that you like. Wow, that's a that's a huge amount in there. Yeah, so two ounces per drink, okay. and then one ounce of an aged rum. And in this case, I love Barman Court Five Star in it because it has both that grassiness and that oak. Right, right, okay. So you get fruit and spice. I love it. Then we're gonna right. stir it up. Cause we don't have any citrus, we don't need to That's right. shake the cocktail. That's right, so, okay. I was gonna say something, but I take it back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could shake it if you wanted to. It's just that the nice thing about stirring this drink is you're gonna get that really nice silky texture. Right, because shaking it is also gonna dilute it and then you're gonna get a little bit of the- Aeration. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you don't necessarily need that. We don't need drink. that, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna move this yeah, because, do. because when you start pouring these into our glasses, that'll be neat to see. So now you're chilling the glasses, right? Mm-hmm. It's not served with ice. No, 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 it's okay. not served with ice, but 
Um, it's important with stirred cocktails to sort of have every element that you do be cold. Um, if I was stirring in glass and not metal, I probably would actually chill the mixing glass first because gotcha. um, it really it just gives it a little extra bump of coldness. Yeah, and then yeah. with your glassware, also you should chill it uh, when you're straining into it. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I love this drink. Um, and this was also featured in uh, Chloe Frechette's uh, book, Easy Tiki. Oh, it was? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, there's a very beautiful photo. Of very that. nice. All right, and so as you can see, the glasses are frosted from having been iced. Right, Both Adrian and I are in the home, so. I love it. Um, if you have a nice little like vintage coupe glass at home, it's definitely nice in a like, little elegant glass. But actually, it's really cool in the little snifters because I've seen the Mai Kai do this with up drinks before. So this is really retro. I love so it. it's interesting that you chose those glasses because I do have coupe glasses there for him to, to, to use, but he chose these mini snifters. Yeah, which is I like, love these. I they're, cool. they're, yeah, like you said, they've got that nice retro feel to them. And they just look kind of cool, you know. All right, here we yeah, go. Yeah, then we're gonna do a lime twist, lime which is twist. gonna like pop a lot of the fruity flavors that are in the the wine. Obviously, lime and rum are best friends, um, and I like doing like a little snake. It's like it's like a twist on top of a black magic, but a really oh tiny black god. magic. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> All right, our man I in the so, I'm, I'm gonna wait for you. Yeah, because we're gonna drink these together. Yeah, we're gonna cheers. I'm so excited. It's funny, when I started bartending, like, lime twists were like a big no-no. Oh, were they really? Yeah, they were just like, it's really hard. And I was like, well, just get a better right. twister. <laughs> like, why is it that difficult? I love it. Yeah. All right, so here we go. All right. This is uh, our Manor Havana. Cheers. All right. Cheers, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Another masterpiece by Garrett Richard. Here we go. Wow. What a different taste. That must be the beer. Yeah. The beer. Okay, so yeah. fresh, dry. It has a dry finish. Very well balanced. I can taste the beer, but it's it's also balanced to all of the other ingredients. It is not spirit forward or heavy like you would think when you think about all of these ingredients. It's actually, it's, it's perfectly balanced. I think that this would go great with a steak. Oh yeah, I could or, see that. Or uh, even sushi. Yeah, we actually, we uh, my uh, partner at Exotica, Jimmy Cologne and I, we got to serve this at the James Beard house because they were doing oh, wow. a dinner for Haitian Flag Day. Wow. And this was, we served this actually at the end of the meal between the last course and dessert. And it was really, yeah. Wow, really so good, so yeah. good. So there you go. Happy Aloha Friday to everybody out there who watches the show and listens to the podcast. I want to thank our friend Garrett Richard for making his cocktail today on this Aloha Friday. If you guys want to make this cocktail, we're going to put the recipe right out down in the description below. And I'm also going to put a link to the podcast that we just recorded. It, we, we sat down and we recorded a one hour show, drinking daiquiris. Yeah, we got into it. <laughs> and we learned about his perspective of mixology and, and how he approaches cocktails and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, yeah, I think you guys are going to enjoy it. Thank you Good again day, for joining us inside the Desert Oasis room. Oh my God. Mm. I wish you guys were here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. It helps us out a lot. And if you want to get more content from us, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to see anything more from our friend Garrett Richard, put it in the comments and let's see if we can talk him into making us another cocktail. Yeah, I'm always, I'm always open to it. <laughs> awesome. I love it. I love it. Thanks for joining us, party people. We'll see you on the next one. Cheers and aloha.